Whether it's quiet quitting, work from home, or an inflation pay imbalance, the job landscape has changed its course in Northeast Ohio and across the country. But even before the pandemic and its ripple effect, data shows a change here in Northeast Ohio when it comes to where people worked was already taking place. News 5's Clay Lepard goes in depth tonight, showing us which zip codes are leading the way and which are falling behind. These sweets here is all boutique uh, bakery. Everything is made fresh. In a span of less than seven years, Shenlong Yu and his team managed to whip up food option ideas for just about every craving that passes through University Circle. We started with Kenko, and then uh, the Hills Fried Chicken, and then uh, the Sweet Spot and the Beautiful. Between these four restaurants, two of which opened earlier this year, Shenlong Yu added about 80 jobs to the area. Case Western and the University Hospital has grown this this area to amazing, an amazing pace. So we feel that this is a perfect timing. So it should come as no surprise that when looking at data from the last 15 years pre-pandemic from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, that University Circle and the zip code 44106 saw the largest growth in the number of jobs, increasing its footprint by 20,000 new jobs. Zip codes including places such as Westlake, Independence and Solon also added jobs at a time when Cuyahoga County still endures a population decline. Those areas of our region are strong. Bryce Sylvester and Jacob Doritsky make up part of the group at Team NEO, which helps companies expand and move into Northeast Ohio. We've also seen growing demand for some of the most in-demand opportunities in the economy. So when you think STEM, when you think healthcare, when you think IT. So which zip code saw the largest job decline in Cuyahoga County? For that, we head to downtown Cleveland, specifically east of Ontario, which lost 9,000 jobs. We've not faced challenges like this as a downtown really since the 90s. Data that doesn't need to be shown to Michael Deemer. The Downtown Cleveland Alliance president and CEO took over the job last year, tasked with helping reshape the city's core, even without 40% of its workforce in the office post-pandemic. We've got to create an experience in downtown that makes people want to be here. That's really where downtown Cleveland has to head in the future. As for Shenlong Yu, this businessman has more projects in the works, constantly looking for ways to add something new to this county of old. It's just finding the right concept, bringing different uh, experiences for the community. In Cuyahoga County, Clay Lepard, News 5. Okay, you can do this too. On News 5's app and web website right now, we have an interactive tool you can use. It shows each zip code in Cuyahoga County and how many jobs it's gained or lost over the last 15 years. Now, it's worth pointing out here that this data from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services only shows jobs at private companies, and it also does not account for jobs that do not have a physical address.